frost is pretty wild this morning. Oh, hi there. You know that moment when you have to tell your wife you bought a 25,000 pound piece of equipment? Oh, you don't. Maybe it's just me. But what are you going to do with it? I don't really know. Uh, how are you going to move it? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know. So why are you buying it? Because it's got a Cummins in it. Why was it so cheap? Well, when I got it, it kind of looked like this. And when I got it, the tires kind of kind of looked like this. How are you going to put tires on it? Uh, the radiator is out of Dodge pickup. It's got some nice custom uh, wooden mounts. That's for vibration dampening. The coolers are off of a case tractor. I saw the ad for this beauty for $500, and I thought that cannot possibly be true. So I called the gentleman and asked him a couple details about it. I said, does it run? He said, yes. No, no radiator, obviously. Does the transmission work? Yes. The hydraulics work? Yes. I said, well, the listing says you're asking $500. And he goes, yes, and I won't take a penny less. So I promptly drove over there as fast as I could and handed the man the cash. I don't have pictures of what this interior looked like before, but just imagine like your uncle's grain truck that's been parked next to the silo for 35 years. That's about what this looked like. So this is one of those Chinese diesel burning heaters that exhaust the exhaust gases outside. I replaced the original heater core with shot and I didn't know if the wiring worked and really these diesels don't produce a lot of heat when it's negative 10 anyways. So I decided to just put a diesel burning heater in here. And let me tell you, the thing works like a champ. That's right. The heated seat is hooked up. It did need an alternator. That was kind of a pain to find the right one. 24 volt system, obviously. And the starter is actually relatively new, but recently the starter relay has stopped starter relaying. So that is what we will be doing today. Cautionary tale, this is a 24 volt system. And something I learned by working on 24 volt systems is that they hurt. Now, if you've ever worked on cars, you can lay on the battery. As long as you don't drop something metal on it or lick the battery, you're pretty much gonna be okay. But that's not the case with 24 volt. It's a little spicier. starter solenoid is actually so chunky that there's another starter relay over here to run the starter solenoid. Alright, let's hook back up. The controls are pretty straightforward. You got your boom, your bucket, your boom, if you go all the way forward, that's a float position. It'll just move up and down by whatever it's pushed around. Three speed shift on the fly, transmission, that's neutral. And then you got a gas and brake down on the floor. The weirdest thing to get used to is the articulated steering. You can see it pivots the whole loader, which feels really weird, especially when you're backing up. It takes a little bit to get used to.
like most things, the real reason I bought it is because it makes me giggle like a little schoolgirl every time I drive it. <laughs>